What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about training and food. How we're going to combine the two to build as much muscle as possible. But first, I'm going to hit a little Instagram live story, which is going on right now. What's good man? You guys are on the vlog right now. So guys, uh... You can hit the notifications on Instagram and you guys can get notifications every time I do come on live. I try and answer all the questions I can, try going into as much detail as I can. Maybe usually lasts around 20-25 minutes um, and just pump out as much information as I can. So if everyone wants to say hello to the vlog, they can say hello to the vlog. If no one, then no one wants to say hello to the vlog. Okay guys, here we are. We're going to talk about our first topic and our first topic is going to be progressive overload. This could possibly be one of the most important factors of natural bodybuilding that there is. In fact, any bodybuilding there is. Progressive overload is basically progressing, progressively overloading, so progressively adding more, slowly adding more to what you're doing in the gym. Whether that be a set, a rep, or weight, or intensity which all can come in various different forms. You can reduce rest between sets, you can increase uh, rest, uh, rest between sets, you can increase the workload, you can decrease the workload. So depending on what works for you best, you do need to be manipulating something every single session in order to be increasing. Now I'll speak from my personal experience and I'll show you guys what I do. So I've done this before and I'll do it again and I will show you right now. So on my right hand side of the screen, there is an app called Rep Count, which I'm going to click. With Rep Count, it comes up with every single session that I have done over the past 26 weeks. Um, every single weight has been marked down. Every single um, exercise has been marked down with sets and reps. So, for example, I'm just going to click on the top one, which is back thickness. And it comes up with all of my sets and reps. Or then click Start Workout. It will then come up with the last weight that I did in the last session, which means you already have the number that you need to beat. Guys, there is no good in going into your session and not knowing the numbers that you need to beat. If you go in and you do random exercises and you make it up on the spot, it's, it's no good, guys. It's no good. You need to get a program. You need to start logging all of your lifts, whether it's on rep count, whether it's that you get a, a little book and you, and you start writing down all your lifts, you need to be doing the same workouts as many times as you can uh, for a very long period of time. So I've been doing this exact same program for 26 weeks now. I have progressed every single week bar one and then I took a rest, rest week that week. So really, you should be progressing every single week. If you're not progressing every single week, you need to be adjust, uh, adjusting either your calories, either the intensity, either the volume, the frequency, all of these things can have an effect. For example, the most prevalent cause of not progressing enough for me is doing too much volume. I was definitely a case of this. I used to do 30, 40 sets a session, drop sets, supersets, giant sets, go over and bench press this and then go superset with that and then do another drop set. Like I used to go crazy with the volume. It's really difficult to monitor that in order for progression. It's also a lot of glycogen burning rather than muscle breakdown. So this is going to be a long video guys, I've already can see the three minute mark. If you, if you don't put in the steps to kind of maybe reduce that volume, you're going to just end up burning out, fatiguing, getting injured. These are all three things that we don't want to happen, uh, especially if you're in a calorie surplus. You, they, they, why are we trying to burn ourselves out? We're not, we're trying to, we're trying to keep the glycogen stores um, so we can go move more towards the heavier sets and the reduced volume and then increased frequency. So the total volume for the week might be the same as your single sessions, but those single sessions are just are pointless. You know, you'll get to halfway through, three quarters of the way through, 90% through, and that last 10%, 25%, 50%, you just burn out and you're just tired and you're just going through the motions to go through the motions instead of putting everything into your sessions. The sessions that I do now, which are 18 to 20 sets, by the end of it, I'm wishing for the end because it's so intense. Like today, like I can't move my arms and it's only 18 sets. It's really, really like a different style of training, which I'd highly, highly recommend, is reducing the volume but increasing the frequency that you do things. This is also going to help with muscle development. If you're hitting things 
once a week, every single week that, for a year, that's 52 sessions a year. If you double that, it's 104 sessions a year. Doubling that just by doing it twice a week. Three times, that's like 156 times a week. Like 156 times a year, that's crazy guys. So maybe play with that kind of frequency. If you've got a weak point, aim to do it three or four or five times a week. Um, but just make sure you've got adequate volume and adequate sets. So you can do one set a day and do seven seven sets a week, that's fine. But it's probably not optimal, you know. So just give yourself enough rest, um, which is also going to help with the progressive overload. A lot of people, what I see is they do the high volume, but then they also don't take rest days. They do one day of rest, or they do no days of rest. They do one day of rest every eight days. Take your day's rest, guys. Uh, I recommend two, two a week. And maybe if you're going into a, a calorie deficit, maybe you can just put that up to, to one day a week. Um, but definitely something to really, really focus on is progressive overload, logging your lifts, tracking your volume, and making sure you're not burning out. Sorry guys, you're all gonna have to wait to hear about the progressive eating. Um, and if you guys do have any other questions, maybe I didn't explain things properly, maybe they didn't make sense, just comment down below and I'll get them all answered very, very quickly. I'm on the way to work. Um, I'm going to Birmingham tonight after after I finish. Uh, and that'll be it for the weekend. But I'll definitely update you the progressive eating later on. What's up guys, just turning eight o'clock now. Managed to get off a little bit earlier so I can get my train. Sorry if it's a little bit louder along no, commercial street right now. Uh, it's gonna take me about half an hour to get to Houston. My train. My train is at 9.03, so I'm going to have a nice little half an hour break to make sure I get there on time. And I'll be hitting you with progressive eating either on the way or when I get to Sunny, so stay tuned. What kind of Uber is eight minutes away? I'm gonna wait eight minutes for this Uber. Headed to Sammy's house. It's been a good trip, I answered a lot of client emails. Uh, so I'll throw this up to you guys. I put it on my Instagram earlier on my Snapchat. By the way, you can catch my Instagram Snapchat on screen right now. Um, I'm doing a 50% off all training plans and diet plans. Um, the one off diet plans, I should say. So they're gonna be 15 quid, they're gonna be completely tailored to your goals and your physique, um, and also your diet preferences and your training preferences. So I'll maybe alter the volume, um, exactly what we were talking about beforehand. Maybe I can take a look at that kind of stuff for you. Um, we can get some good gains from it. So just drop me an email on screen right now. Tell me uh, the plan you wanna do. I'll send over uh, my details for the payment and then I will send you the training plan ASAP. Nice one guys, then he walked into that dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, so, and then, yeah, I'll send you details after that. The next On to my last meal of the day, which is just going to be a shake. This is 50 grams of whey from protein, so it's 60 grams of whey. 60 grams of protein from whey, I mean. <laughs> so, this leads us into our final point of the day, progressive eating. Now guys, while the weights are going up, um, and while the progression is happening, 
you need to be pushing that body weight up. You need to be increasing the amount of calories that you eat. The reason is, if you don't eat enough calories, you're not going to put on weight, which means you're not going to put on muscle. So you're just going to be getting stronger. So actually, the combination of eating more, along with progressively overloading your lifts, is actually what's going to lead to direct muscle gain. Um, I tend to go for anywhere between 0.2 and 0.8 worth of gain per week and that's in kilos um, if you wanted to stay a little bit leaner and not gain weight as fast you want to aim towards the 0.2s if you're just looking to pack on as much size as possible you're going to be looking towards the 0.8 this can be controlled in many different ways i would first recommend you to just increase what you do so add some cardio in if the weight is creeping up too quickly um, and if you don't want to do that you can just reduce your calories if your weight is not eat is not increasing you need to be eating more if your weights are not going up in the gym, you need to be eating more. Um, my suggestion to you guys is find your optimal protein, which is going to be about 0.8 grams to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. If you are someone who doesn't like to eat as much protein, aim towards the 0.8. If you like to eat a lot of protein, aim a little bit higher. So it's all personal preference here. You can adjust it how you want to go. I'm trialing out the, the higher protein, see how it goes on. Um, and for now, it's okay. So okay, I think I'd prefer a little bit lower calories, but for now we're okay. Once you find what your protein should be, you want to be increasing your carbohydrates and fats. I'd recommend your fats to be a minimum of 25% of your diet, 25% of the calories in your diet. And that's just to ensure hormone regulation. Fats is very, very, very good um, just for getting calories in. So if we are someone who struggles to get calories in, you can put the fats up higher because they're a lot more dense um, and they're not as voluminous. So you can have kind of like a fuck it, a fuckload of coconut oil and still burn a lot of weight, you know? I'd also recommend to keep increasing carbohydrates as you go. Carbohydrates are what the, is the primary source and the preferred source of um, energy for the body. Um, you can definitely train your body to, to use other methods such as fats. Um, and even when you go in keto, you do end up still getting full because when you eat protein, uh, glycogen something or other happens and it turns into a carbohydrate anyway. I'm sorry, I don't know that word. That's actually horrible. I should do. I predominantly put most of my carbs pre and post workout, but when the when the food gets too high, like it is for me, you can eat protein all the way through the day. Um, we're talking before bed. We're talking when you wake up. Um, if that's what you need to do to get the calories in, that's what you need to do to get the calories in. So, guys, you need to make sure you're progressively eating, adding in calories every single week or every single month or however much you need to add. If you're gaining 0.1 a week and you want to be gaining 0.5 a week. You need to be increasing those calories so that you're gaining that weight every single week, guys. Um, I've roughly gained anywhere from 0.4, which has been the minimum, to about one kilo a week. Uh, when it gets up towards the kilo, I tend to not increase my calories anymore. Um, I tend to just leave it where it is. And then generally the week after, it'd be about 0.7, 0.6, as the body just comes accustomed to that amount of food. So as your body comes accustomed to the amount of food over time, uh, you need to be increasing your food because your body will get used to it. Same with lifting, guys. If you lift the exact same every single week, your body will become accustomed to it. And progressively eating, progressively overloading, log booking, making sure that you, you can log book your food as well, guys. Get a nutrition guide, get my fitness pal, get um, a nutrition book. And, and if you're not gaining weight, eat more. If you're, if you're gaining weight too slowly, eat more. If you're not going up in the gym, eat more. Run over. Right guys, it's late here, I'm gonna to go to bed. Haven't seen Sam in a while. Can't wait to spend some time with her. Hopefully I can film tomorrow. This will definitely be going up sometime this weekend. It's great to get some information out to you guys finally. It's been a while since I've actually been providing you information. I feel like I'm not providing any value. So I'll be making sure to put more and more information in through the next videos. Let me know what you wanna see next. Um, if there's a topic that you want me to cover, I can just kind of implement it through the workouts or implement it through the, through the day, um, whatever works best. So. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. See you in the next one. The likes really help, by the way. The likes help. Peace.